What's going on guys, Uzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are doing 86 overall Foolsby, which is currently level 15 in the season progress and you can get this card for free and he looks outstanding. Now I want to say a big thank you to my guy, No Look Assist for obviously allowing me to hop onto his account and do this review. His link to his Twitter will be in the description, please hear him up with a follow. But let's get straight into it. 83 pace, 84 dribbling, 87 defending, 90 physical and 82 passing he's even got a decent shot to him 74 shooting ain't even that bad six foot two the minimum i personally like to go when obviously doing a cdm so that's always lovely to see high high work rate it's not lovely to see i prefer medium high you're gonna put stay back or attack i mean i'm gonna put stay back or attack on this guy but at the same time he's not gonna always stay back and that's obviously gonna be an issue now the two star skill moves is not an issue at all because the cdm position for me personally i don't do skill moves with them three star weak for those the minimum i personally like to go for in midfield is because they can pass the little short passes with the left foot still but the over the tops might be an issue now he is on a anchor chemistry style he is obviously on 10 chem 86 acceleration 89 sprint speed a super super fast center mid that will be intercepting the ball left right and center and the fact is he's got 98 aggression as well which means his pace is even going to be increased by more and he'll be winning a lot of 50 50s now shooting stats 90 attacker positioning 72 finishing 81 shot power 72 long shots 63 volley 61 penalties now, if it bounces to him, I wouldn't say on the edge of the box, inside the box, somehow he will be in there. Then I'll give it a shot. Why not? But at the end of the day, do I think it's going to go in? Probably not. 80 vision, 78 crossing, 63, uh, 63 kick accuracy, 88 short passing, 85 long passing, and 64 curve. Now, long passing, he's going to be able to do the little cheeky over the tops and stuff. What I'm questioning is, is can he do the over the tops on one side of the pitch, completely to the other? That's what we're here for. We're here to see if he can. But the short passing, the link up, the one, two should be beautiful in it. Now, this is not something we see every single day. A person that has that good of a defensive stat that we will get into in a minute and be agile on the ball that's interesting 85 agility 87 uh, balance 93 reactions 84 dribbling 82 uh, dribbling and 90 composure i was about to say 84 ball control sorry about that but anyway dribbling on the ball should be very nice and calm and composed should take a very nice touch i'm gonna see because he is six foot two so i might have a few six foot two animations but 85 agility for a six foot two player I'm impressed. I am impressed. Now, 93 interceptions with 93 reactions and him being 6 foot 2, he's got that reach to him. He will be intercepting the ball fairly easily. 91 defensive awareness. He's going to be at the right place at the right time. 99 standing tackle. You're getting a card for free that has 99 standing tackle. He has something's wrong. Something in game is definitely wrong. EA don't be can't be giving out these cards for free. Now this guy's going to be winning most of the 50-50s of with that standing tackle, and hopefully he comes out with a ball. I would say nine times out of ten. Now 88 sign tackles actually pretty decent. Now we don't get a lot of occasions to do obviously a slide tackle, but if we do, I'll give it a go. 99 jumping, 99 heading, actually six foot two. He will be out heading six foot four and below clearly. Now. I'll give it a go on a near post, obviously on a near post header off a corner, but I'm not going to guarantee it goes in because not a lot of them go in this year. 99 stamina up and down the pitch shouldn't be a problem throughout the whole 90 minutes. 88 strength, going to be body in place left, right and centre. And as I said, 98 aggression. It's going to make him win more 50-50s, but at the same time, going to make the player even faster. Now, today I have linked him up with Gerard, Dalglish and Barella. I've also got to like Politano, player of the month, uh, Neymar and Ramos in the team. I will be using forward to be in a 4-4-2, playing him in that centre mid role, but I also want to try him in that CDM role, so I will be trying him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. Now, the first thing we always do at the start of our reviews is just see how agile the person is, and that, I tell you what, does not feel like 85 agility, 100%. Complete switch of play. Okay, okay. So he can do those little switch of plays fairly easily. He's in an attacking position here. Little touch onto that stronger foot. I'm going to go for it. Oh my God. <laughs> I did not expect that. Now, his shooting stats are okay. They're not great. But if he's pulling stuff like that, I might as well call it excellent. Because Jesus Christ. That is an absolute rocket. And I think, who is that against? Is that the Stegen or the Hay? I'm not 100% who is it against. I mean, it might be Neuer, actually. Yeah, I think it's Neuer. To hit that past Neuer? Quite impressive. 
Go on, get there. There you go. Just reacting faster than the attacker there. I try. I went for a little dribble because I'm. I've got that thing in my head of he, him having 85 agility, so he's gonna, you know, turn pretty decent. But I'm telling you, do not dribble with this guy. He's more of one of those players that is just gonna be there for a passing option. Nice. That was a really, really good pressure from him just to get Ronaldo to kind of make a mistake there and at the same time put him under pressure. Come on, move forward a little bit. I don't know, man. He doesn't feel good at all, at all on the ball. That right there was an unbelievable ball, but Neymar wasn't in the right place. But it was a really, really good pass. Nice, very calm and composed and an absolutely beautiful switch with the weaker foot. Nice, good spacing, giving me that passing option. Little ball roll. Oh, come on. He did the ball roll perfectly. You could argue that, you know, we got a bit lucky to come out of it. But at the same time, how is it getting stuck in between these feet? Nice, beautiful turn. Kind of shield him off there. Really, really nice. Being very calm and composed on the ball. Just taking his time. Forsby once again. Takes a touch. He's going forward. Plays a pass to Neymar. It's just simple as that. As I said, he's not one of those players that you're going to go on mad dribbles with. But he is one of those players that is going to be very calm and composed. As you clearly can see, easily shielding off Witzel. Waiting for the perfect moment. Takes a shot. Very unlucky not to get a shot. Uh, to not get a goal there. But you can clearly see what he's doing to an amazing CDM Witzel in this game. But at the same time, he's just... I don't know. He's, so, he's not agile at all. So he's going to have to be shielding off players. Oh, God, that is a terrible touch. I had to flick it back towards him because I tell you what, do not hold RT when the ball is coming towards him because it ain't going to end well. Little bit of pressure. Oh, come on. He needs to be getting that 100%. There's a gap there. Why not go for it? Little fake shot. Going to try to go around the corner. Beautiful pass to Dolph Leash. Touch, finish, simple as that. Forsby showing that he has an attacking presence, giving me that passing option, obviously. Then they kind of disrespected him a little bit, giving him that much space. So I just ran into the space, waited a little moment just to get that perfect pass off, which he clearly did. And it's a beautiful finish from Dalglish. Getting, oh, okay. So he did get the standing tackle and he did have the reach to kind of get there. But it was super unfortunate not to kind of get the ball straight off him. No turn there. Really good stack. Oh, I just couldn't get it. And that's apparently a foul to him. Like, excuse me, Rev? I clearly got the ball there, but apparently it's a foul to him. Nice. Really, really good standing tackle. Now, it obviously was Ladrup, so I knew he wasn't going to be turning insane like Neymar or Messi. So I kind of just had to read one place and one place only. Make sure he doesn't turn. That's the one thing there. All I had to do was control Van Dyke a little bit, hold RB so he could come into come into the little gap and cover the you know the behind pretty much. But at the same time, completely switch to him at the perfect moment and go in for the tackle. And that's exactly what he did. Nice. He's there for a passing option. I love that. I'm just gonna wait for Dalglish to kind of to kind of turn, which would be kind of nice. But he didn't end up turning into the wide open space. So so confused about that. Nice. I kind of baited him into that, giving him no option down below there, and just waiting for the perfect moment once again to just go in with Forsby because I know he has enough pace. I like him when he transitions left to right because he can recover really, really well, and he can get from point A to point B really fast. No, dr no drag backs. There you go. Just putting him under pressure there is all I need. I don't need him to get the ball because I know something like that will happen. And Fulsby did read it once again by himself, which was an actual quite surprise. But, you know, his defensive awareness is actually quite high. So he's going to be doing stuff like that by himself. And an unbelievable switch of play once again. On the edge of the box here, he's found himself wide open. You could kind of call that an amazing pass, but at the same time, we all know it was a shot. <laughs> Now, he's got amazing jumping and he is six foot two, so why not give it to him on a near post header? Let's see how he does. It's actually quite decent to him. He's maybe even got it in. We haven't scored a near post header off a corner for a very, very long time, and Forsby just shows people how it's done. Nice. I kind of baited him into that, but at the same time, we all know it wasn't great for my opponent. But do you see that strength kind of shielding off the player? I was waiting for a good pass there as I was going to take it nicely calm and composed. But at the end of the day, the only way you're going to get the ball off this guy is by fouling him. 
take a very nice, calm and composed. That was really good dribbling from him as well. Uh, he just couldn't shield off that player, though. I know, it, you know, shielding is not so, so overpowered like it was in, like, FIFA 17 and stuff. But he's still going to be able to do it. But that is going to happen time to time. Don't know what he's doing on the edge of the box here, though. Beautiful turning. Nice little drag back. Bull roll, get in front of the guy. Half drag back. Maybe doing a bit too much, but he still got off the ball. Really nice strength from him once again. Just waiting for the perfect moment. Little one-twos. One-twos with him once again. Half drag back. It's so much to do. Little back stick. Mane. Come on. That pass from him as well was insane. It was so perfectly like timed with the amount of power and accuracy. But he needs to be getting that header on target. Come on, Saudi. Nice, really good interception once again. Just what kind that passing lane is exactly what he's so good at doing. So it is time to review, man. Let me say, I really did enjoy using this card. Three games played, two goals, one assist in CDM. That is outrageous. Now, six foot two, I loved. He's got that interception reach, which he clearly showed it. High, high. It wasn't a problem at all. Not as much as a problem as that prime icon moments Desai that I actually did. He was going up really, really high up. Forsby wasn't. And that kind of has like has me uh, thinking in a way. Does defensive awareness like help that? Or does like attack and positioning help that? I don't really understand that. But at the same time, the two-star skill moves, you're not going to do skill moves with this guy, definitely. The three-star weak foot, I felt like it even seemed like a four-star in a way. I was actually quite comfortable even shooting with it. Now, pace-wise, unbelievably fast, left and right. Now, when you're running with him on the ball, he doesn't feel as fast, but... You can see his transition when moving left to right, and obviously his reaction times helping if you commit to one side too much. He can obviously uh, recover really, really well. Finishing, we all saw that shot. Crossbar down. Come on now. Let's all be honest. That was an unbelievable shot, and I did not expect a guy that has 72 long shots to hit a shot like that. Now, I do believe his shot power does carry the shot a little bit because it's more of a the, how it like rockets straight through the keeper more rather than accuracy. But at the same time, I can't really complain about his shooting. Passing, unbelievable. Switching the ball from one side of the pitch completely to the other. I like his short passing, the tick attack of play. That was all beautiful on him. Dribbling, he definitely doesn't feel like 85 agility. I can tell you that. He's more, he's more one of those players that is going to be very calm and composed on the ball. He, because he has that 88 strength. So he's going to shield off a lot of players. And just kind of wait for the perfect moment in a way. And just pass the ball away. Now, interceptions, as I said, unbelievable. Defensive awareness, reading that passing lane and man, man marking by himself. That is something we love to see. Standing tackle, I didn't really believe it was 99. I believe it was more of a 93, 94 in a way because he didn't win every single one. But I would say all the clear cut chances that he, you know, you get when standing tackling, he, he I would say he won those. Uh, won those. Now sliding tackle, uh, I don't think we actually had an occasion that we did a slide tackle. As far as I remember, I don't think we did. But let's move on. Jumping wise, 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy, six foot two. He won a near post corner. He scored it. It was simple as that. And what a header it was. It bounced straight to the ground because I was holding uh, L1 and R1. And it was, went top bins. It bounced off the ground, went top bins. It was simple as that. 99 stamina up and down the pitch wasn't a problem last throughout the whole 90 minutes. Strength, as I said, when shielding off the ball, it was very, very nice. Aggression is what made him fast when obviously in transition, when moving left to right. And that is something you need as a CDM. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. And I did really, really like him. And there, I don't think there was one big thing about him that I didn't dislike. But it was definitely his agility. He wasn't great on the ball. So I am going to give him a 9 out of 10. I'm even thinking to give him a 9.5 because he was so good defensively. It was ridiculous. All right, I'm going to give him a 9.5. This is actually, I think, the first ever time I gave someone a 9.5 out of 10. But he's definitely worth it. I can tell you that. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.